Hello, my student. This is the lecture of geriatric dentistry related to prosthetic, the second part. Effect of aging on oral tissues. Loses of tooth support structures, periodontia. Increased loss of epithelium attachment and alveolar bone in the elderly. Temporomandibular joint. Orofacial mastication muscles, oropharyngeal mucosa, and oral sensory or motor nerve systems, salivary gland function, test, tactile sensation, and swallowing. Common manifestations, loses of tooth translucency and surface details, abrasion, attrition, and erosion of teeth usually increase with advancing age. The dental pulp becomes smaller. Geriatric dentistry differs from traditional general practice in the following aspects. It is concerned with aging patient, 86% of whom have at least one chronic disorder. Cognitive dysfunctions such as dementia affect complaints and oral health. Use of polypharmacy causes xerostomia. Many elderly have physical disabilities such as vision, hearing, and test disorders. Require exceptional skill in history taking. Challenge the dentist's ability to design treatment plan and differentiate normal aging from pathologic aging. Effect of aging on salivary gland and saliva. Salivary function during aging. There occurs a fairly linear loss of acinar cell replaced by fatty or connective tissue. Morphometric studies show proportion of a gland parenchyma occupied by acinar cell is reduced by 25 to 30%. Atrophy of acinar cell, proliferation of ductal elements, some degenerative chains. But recent studies showed that the composition and the quantity of the saliva in the elderly is not changed significantly, but it changed due to other factors like some treatment by radiation or drugs or other disease like sojourning disease. Effect of aging on oral mucosal barrier. The oral mucosa performs essential protective function. It provides first line of defense. Oral mucosa with aging, epithelium thinner, more fragile, less keratinized. Loss of collagen and elastin from fibers also weaken mucosa. Increase in pathological change, loss of tongue papilla and test bud. Minor salivary glands diminish. Lesions more common and slower to heal. Inflammations, irritation, and infections. Effect of aging on periodontium. Gingival epithelium. Thinning and decreased keratinization of gingival epithelium. Flattening of retibigs altered density. Migration of functional epithelium from its position in healthy individuals on enamel to more apical position on the root surface with a combined gingival recession. Effect on periodontal ligament, periodontal disease, etiology, gram-positive and negative bacteria, exacerbated in the elderly by diminished motor dexterity like arthritis or stroke so lead to, lead to poor oral hygiene. Wide spectrum range of gingivitis, inflammation of circular epithelium that lead to the recision and lead to the periodontal pocketing. Treatment, antimicrobial therapy, surgical elimination of pockets. Effect on cementum. Cementum continuous be lied throughout life, but rate of formation diminishes with age. A thickening of cementum is observed on teeth that are not in function, hypercementosis. 
An increase in cemental width 5 to 10 times as cementum deposition is continuous after tooth eruption. An increase in width is greater apically and lingually. Effect on alveolar bone A more irregular periodontal ligament surface of bone and less irregular insertion of collagen fibers. Healing of bone in extraction socket appear to be unaffected by aging. Effect on bacterial plaque Dentogengival plaque accumulation increase because increase in hard tissue surface area as a result of gingival recession and the surface characteristic of the exposed root surface for plaque formation compared to enamel. Effect of aging on teeth Enamel chains Increased levels of nitrogen and the fluorine, therefore increase organic matrix. Enamel near the surface become darker and decay resistant. There is reduced permeability and enamel become brittle. Attrition. It may be defined as physiological wear of occlusal and incisal surfaces and proximal contact as a result of mastication, physiologic tooth movement, functional or parafunctional movements of mandible. Clinical features. Small polished facets on cusp tips, ridge, slight flattening of incisal aids. Because of a slight mobility of teeth in their sockets and a manifestation of resiliency of periodontal ligament, facets also occur at proximal surface. Decreased cusp height. Flattening of occlusal plane. Shortening of length of dental arch. Abfraction. Recently, it has been proposed that the predominant causative factor of some of the cervical which shape defects is a strong eccentric occlusal force resulting in microfracture or abfracture. Such microfracture occur as the cervical area of the tooth flexes under such load. Aging and functional change in dentine. Manifestation of reparative or secondary dentine. If attrition, abrasion, erosion, cavity cutting process causes odontoblast processes to cut or expose, either they die or if they live, they form dentine called as reparative dentine. This reparative dentine seals of the zone of injury occurs as a healing process initiated by pulp resul resulting in resolution of the inflammation process and removal of dead cell. The reparative dentine has fewer and more twisted tubules. Pulp cell chains Decrease in number, size, and cytoplasmic organelle fibroblast chains. Fibrosis in aging pulp, accumulation of both diffused fibrillar component as well as bundles of collagen fibers usually appear. Fiber bundles arrangement. Longitudinally at the radicular pulp, diffusely coronal pulp at the coronal pulp. Increase in fibers is generalized throughout the pulp organ. Collagen increase in medial and adventitial layer of blood vessels. Increase in collagen fibers is more apparent than actual because of decrease in the size of the pulp, which makes the fibers to occupy less space. Vascular chains in the aging pulp is same as occur in any other organ like plaque calcification. Pulp stone or denticles. They are defined as nodular calcified masses appearing in either or both the coronal or root portion of pulp organ. They are seen in otherwise normal tooth in other respects. They are seen in functional as well as embedded and erupted teeth. Tooth loss, not a normal part of aging. A 
a consequence of oral diseases such as caries, periodontal disease, often associated with systemic diseases. Effect of aging on tongue It seems to increase in size in edentulous mouth which may be because of result of a transference of some of the masticatory and phonetic function of the tongue. Enlarged tongue have negative effect on retention of denture. There is depopulation which usually being at apex and lateral border. Fissuring is also common. There is also reduction in the test buds. Test Reasons for decline in sense of test are unclear. Possible decline in number of test buds. Or declination in the density of test buds or sensitivity of test buds or declination in the neural processing or retrieval. All these reasons it's maybe possible but as we mentioned the aging patients have at least one chronic disease so need medication and as we know this medication may interfere with the test so we're listing some drugs antibiotics and uh, anti convulsant that may interfere with the test or olfactory senses Effect of aging on oral motor performance Speech Speech production is most resistant to aging, but that does not mean there are no age-related changes in speech. You can very well perceive differences when person of old age speaks, but they are largely related to laryngeal rather than oral events. Other speech chains may occur due to edentulous patient, partial or complete, or l fitting prosthesis. Effect on swallowing Reduce chewing effectiveness. Decrease tongue strength. Less muscle and an increase in fatty and connective tissue in the tongue. Atrophy of alveolar bone with lost dentition. Increase swallowing time with age. Swallowing disorder may be prevalent. Swallowing oral movement in old age. People chewing slowly as they get older, although the duration of total chewing cycle does not seem to change. It does seem that vertical displacement of mandible is shortened. Movements of mandible are governed by generator in the brain stem and influenced by the proprioception in the muscles, joints, and mucosa. Effect on mastication, masticatory ability. It is an individual's own assessment of his or her masticatory function, masticatory efficiency. It is the capacity to grind the food during mastication. Atrophy of masticatory muscles and masticatory ability and performance. Essential that masticatory fu function in complete denture wearers be maintained throughout life. Masticatory function depends on the skeletal muscle force and the ability to coordinate oral functional movements during mastication. Maximal bite forces decrease in older patients. Greater atrophy occur in complete denture wearers, especially women. Little evidence that a new denture reduced this atrophy. Wearing dentures does compromise masticatory performance greatly as compared to, uh, to a natural set of teeth. Thank you for your watching. I hope it's beneficial video.